Many areas throughout North Dakota and Minnesota were hit with an early frost over the weekend and today I'm out evaluating severity and potential damage. As a general rule of thumb, crop canopies can hold and regulate heat better than things around your yard like vehicle windshields and rooftops. So if you woke up on Sunday morning and saw frost on your roof, that doesn't necessarily mean that your crop froze. In soybeans, the top of the canopy can easily be damaged when temperatures and frost uh, range from 30 to 32 degrees. A killing frost can usually occur if plants are below 30 degrees. Other things that will impact frost severity in soybeans is plant density and row spacing. You may see the more narrow the row spacing and the higher the plant population, the better they retain heat which protects that mid canopy and lower canopy. In corn, we can see leaf damage in the upper portion of the leaves between 30 and 32 degrees. In these situations, the stalk and shank will remain undamaged and the lower leaves that are undamaged will continue to contribute to yield. A killing frost in corn can occur when the crop canopy drops below 28 degrees for any amount of time. The field we're standing in today had a light frost on the top of the canopy early Sunday morning. You can see here the top portion of the leaves are bronzed, gray, and wilted. In this situation, we'd expect to see some yield loss due to the fact that we are in the late R5 stage and the top of the pods and trifoliates froze. In corn, across the road, we can see that it was completely unaffected because of the fact that the plant material was able to maintain the heat and the temperature when that reached that 32 degree mark. As you're out looking at your fields, now that it has been 24 to 48 hours since the frost, the unaffected plants are standing out quite a bit more. If you see any gray, bronzed, and wilted plants, pay attention to how far down in the canopy that that frost went, along with the crop stages. These are the two biggest factors when diagnosing severity of the damage. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out to a local member of your Pioneer team. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.